Hey guys, this is Game Demo recording for duty. So I am going to go back to lefties as I was before because I just figured out that I uh, I have this. There was this uh, lock on the door in the pimp's room. And what do we have in our inventory? Uh, le combinaison, way. Oui? Okay, so we're gonna go and try that out if that will work for us. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Loot taxi, please. Do I have enough money? Uh, I hope so. How much money do I have? Twenty-seven. That's gonna be fine. Uh, uh, uh. Hello, hello. Take me to the place. Be, Take me to lefties, please. Wait. Sure. And that'll be 22 bucks, Mac. I have like no money at all. No, not two notes. Yes. Thanks, kid. Uh, I will go in here. And I am going to go into here. You rap loudly on the Nogahai door. Yeah. yeah? What's the password? I have the best voice in the world. My job is just to have the best voice in the world. You read off the strange password you discovered in the John. Uh, Ken sent me? Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, I remember there's this, like, silly lock thing over there. And who cuts the little password there, huh? But do I want the stuff in there? Bingo. Probably not. You use the combination on the coaster to quietly unlock the cabinet. You dispose of the evidence by tossing the coaster behind the cabinet, where it's unlikely to be found for thousands of years. That's I'll nice. never forget that number. It's burned into my memory, I think. Wait, what was it? For something, right? Mm-hmm. You give yourself a quick pat down. No. Got my wallet, got my <laughs> breath spray, and I'm filled <laughs> with vitamin <laughs> Larry. Come and get me, ladies. Sometimes when you're trying to click some stuff. The cabinet stuff. is unlocked. Were you looking for something? I kind of was. I'm trying to look for something. Let's look. There's an impressive looking vibrator or personal massager in the cabinet. Maybe I should take that. Yes. Score one battery operated, sleek, slightly sticky oh, personal massager. Oh, did you hear massager. that? Battery operated? Did you hear the battery operated? Let me see if I can maybe... Uh, it's hard to open. Maybe I can use the like knife on it. Oops. No, I want to take this and maybe use another that. Mm -mm. Okay, it's open. So let's just take this and put it here. Mm -mm. I need to get the battery from the vibrator. Come on now. There we go. I just need to do it like three times. Then I take the, the batteries. From the magical vibrator and put it in there. Hello! It's not working and they put it on the TV, yeah! You aim the remote at the TV and push the power button. Don't make me wistful. Okay, the you guy does, is like not interested. You've managed to turn on the TV. You've caught Prodigious P's attention, but he doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. This means we you aim the, the remote channel. at the TV and push the channel button. Hey, don't touch your knob. We'll be back in two and two. Another boring game show. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. Would you wear these clothes? These are like pink, fluffy, uh, zebra, no, not zebra, like a uh, leopard, I don't know. You aim the remote okay. at the TV and push <laughs> the channel button. What you are witnessing is real. The participants Whoa, are not that's actors. Boring. They're actual litigants with a case pending in California Municipal Court. He's not interested, court. man. Another boring, real-life white trash catfight show. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. Of course he's not. You aim the remote One at more the TV time. and push Again, the again, channel. again. And thank you for your support. Really? You've been a brick. How many times? Another boring commercial for wine coolers. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested I, enough I, in the I program to leave you don't his to post by yourself, the man. stairs. You aim the remote One at the more TV time. Okay, now we get it. Now we get something awesome. What are you talking about, Willis? Another boring sitcom. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. Come you on now. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. 
Please have your pet spayed, neutered, or both. Just to be safe. Another boring appeal to common decency. Prodigious P doesn't I seem wonder interested if I need enough to in the program to the... leave his post by the stairs. Maybe I need to just adjust the thingy. Now that you've got the TV working, there's no need nope. to touch it. I don't need to touch it. Yep. None nope. of the holes <laughs> in the TV look the oh, least bit enticing. Oh no. Or safe. No. Oh, that was terrible. I was trying actually to get the remote. I'm going to go up there. Find the remote you and push the, the remote TV. At the TV and push the channel button. I love this razor so much, I bought the company. And this railroad. And two United States senators. Another boring infomercial. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV. Oh, yeah. and push Any, the anyone upset button. me getting tired of this? There we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Pull it out a little deeper. Huh? All right. But this is wrong. For God's sakes, I am your accountant. And give it to me 32% <laughs> harder. <laughs> is that a line? Is that actually a line? Oh la la! He's a happy little, little ugly clothes wearing fella. Oh, <laughs> look at him go! Aww! That's kind of cute, isn't it? Or I don't know. It's a good thing that you did that, Larry. A very good thing. You sort of wished him into the porn field, didn't you? Yes, you did. You carefully yes, sneak the remote into Prodigious P's pocket, since you won't be needing it anymore. Alrighty then, then we can go upstairs and take a look at what's happening there. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Go upstairs, mister. Okay, I'll just use the hand, maybe. Not on yourself, please, not on yourself. You give yourself no, a quick No, no. <laughs> got my wallet, got my breastplate, <laughs> and I'm filled with vitamin Larry. Come and get me, ladies. So my aim is apparently not very good. So I'm just going to go down and try to go up again. This is quite actually With hard. prodigious P presently preoccupied, you're able to proceed. Like little details in this game can be so tedious. This must be the place. Just so you know, if you're into peeking duck play, I need 24 hours advance notice. That's the first breath I've smelled on any man since that video game player's convention came through town. Uh, Ugh. I think we're gonna use the breath space right before we kill people. This sometimes doesn't work, which is weird. But now I have the breath spray. It's okay. Ah. Ah. That's better. Look what we have here. We have candy. We can go to the start to pick crazy the woman and give her all the what stuff. What are you doing with that? I'm sorry. Did you want it? Sure, I wanted it. That's my candy. Are you sure? It might help me find true love. Well, I am a sucker for true love. Sure, what the heck. Take it. Take it and go find yourself some true love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. What is with all the Jewish references? Leaving a hooker without her silky undergarments? Why not? What a cad. Which stands for computer-aided dork. Let's talk to her. Yikes. Holy cow. She's a hot mess. Without the heart. Um, how old are you anyway? Twenty-three. Aye. That's terrible. Hey, I'm up here. Oh, she's terrible. You stare terrible. deeply into the hooker's eyes and speak from the heart. Yeah. So, laying down on the job, eh? <laughs> hey, in ballet and prostitution, they call this first position. Yikes. Let's get to know each other. I think it's important that we establish a rapport and really try to connect on an emotional level before we connect on a physical level. That should lead to greater satisfaction, don't you think? Why are you still talking? <laughs> Aww. What do you say I take you away from all of this? All of what? You and I could run away together. I'm sure I can make you happy. You want to make me happy? Do your business and get out. I've got fingernails that are overdue for a chewing. <laughs> I could take you on a trip around the world. Sweezy, I do that 20 times a day. Oi! Oh, poor, okay, poor forget woman. running away together. Uh. You must meet a lot of interesting people. I wouldn't know. 
Okay, she's so, a real hoot. If you do this for a living all day, do you actually enjoy sex? Yeah, yeah. It's great. It's terrific. You're the best I've ever had, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now, can we get this show on the road? I okay. guess that's all I wanted to know. What a fascinating life you I don't think lead. we should sleep with her. Must I think die. he's gonna get, like, something terrible. Okay, I feel more comfortable But let's do it now. anyway. So, let's get to it. Forgive me if I'm not as enthusiastic as you are. But you don't have a condom, do you? I think we... I think we should actually get a condom before we do that. I don't think that's gonna be wise. Um, that was the store. I need to go back there and try to find the condom. So, yeah, let's leave this and not sleep with the hooker right now because I think we're just gonna get like AIDS and shit. Or HIV is actually correct. It's after HIV. So, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. So, we're going. Uh, how much money do we have? Do we have any money? Are we gonna get like killed by the cat driver again? Five bucks. No, we don't have any money. So, let's hit the slot. Um, I'm wondering about saving right now. Uh, four, save, uh, and spinning, and then loading if everything goes to Panda Boo. Yeah, this is why we did the saving. Load, four, load. Yes, yes, I think that's a wise thing to do. Spinny, spinny, spin, spin! Oh, this is gonna be fun. I can just feel it. It's gonna be so much fun, especially if I press the delete button. That's going to be amazing. Yay, I won, but only like five. So let's try again. Yay, yay, yay. Really? Oh. Did I tell you how tedious this is? Yeah. This is what we call T D E S. Oh my god, really? This is like the remote thing. Like, let's do it again. Again, again, again. Teletubbies, yay. Ugh. Bang's head against... No, it was a win. Sorry, I just didn't think I won with that combination. Yeah, or that one. So, I used to love this game so much. I started with playing uh, the third game, which is uh, like text-based. And I wasn't really good at English. I was like eight years old and... Like, uh, when I found out I was supposed to write carve knife, that was such a victory for me. Because I really, really didn't know, like, uh, anything at that point. But it was it was quite interesting. So, yeah, I really like these games. And uh, I think number six is always going to be my favorite. So I'll probably play at some point. But I also like this one very much. Uh, I think I can actually up my bat. So it would be smart to, to actually... Uh, resave now. Save and spin. Okay, you go back. Load four. Yeah, did you know that uh, there's no Larry uh, four? Yeah, uh, there's no Larry four. There was this rumor that they lost the game, but uh, apparently that that's just something they did for like advertisements and to get. Uh, to get uh, some yeah some publicity, I think that's that's like quite smart. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. So what are we getting? We're losing, but we only we have thirty dollars. So maybe we can get up to something higher. Why do I, I I saved with like a bat of thirty, didn't I? I did that because I didn't want to do that again. It's quite annoying that I don't save on my bat. That's a fail with the programmer. I will call him. I will tell him. Fix it. Fix it, man. Do it right now. Or I go crazy. Or not. Or I kind of won't because I really love this game. And yeah. No, no, no. I should be able to write like 30. That would be cool. So yeah. You guys are probably so excited to go give the woman all the stuff we got. 60. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do that again because it's not gonna get stuck. So four, save, and then up to 60. This is the way to get the money. Save between. 
It's a little bit of a cheating, isn't it? Oh, 180. I think I'm good. It feels oddly generic. No, no, why am I touching everything? Just like it before elsewhere. So since I did that, I would love to do that. Your zipper seems to be stuck on hyperactive. Hyperactive. Okay, I'm leaving. Uh, I wanted to get condoms and I wanted to go give the woman the stuff. That was my devious plan to take over the world. And I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to take the cat. Uh, go cabio. Where Hello. To? to a condom store, which is right here. Because if she wants to have, uh, you know, with me, then uh, I might actually be uh, really, really, truly honestly all need right, that condom. Bucks. Yes, I'm all about protection. It's important. Thanks, kid. Also when you're Larry, especially when you're Larry, and have no experience whatsoever with anything. So, yeah. Welcome to the come and go. We only carry up to $20,000 cash in the safe... Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at things. Something about this arcade game just rubs you the wrong way. These look, are mints? Get your favorite brand of breath spray, along with other exciting trial-sized hygiene products. But Peter Parka condom. They carry condoms they here, carry but they must condoms. be behind the counter. Maybe I can touch it. Let us be discreet about this. I understand you are interested in a birth control devices. <laughs> birth control devices? Yes, I am interested in a birth control devices. Yes, I'd like one of your finest prophylaxatives. We have all manner of lovers um, for your What sort sure. of you? What length would you like? Super duper. Uh, is that Vienna sausage? Probably. What girth are you requiring? Redwood. What texture would you like? Totally just going for the rip one, aren't we? What full finish would you like? Snake skin, snake skin, yeah. What excess capacity do you require? Uh, sure. What I have no idea. What sort of lubrication would you like? Fun title, sure. What sort of scent That's would terrible. you like? Yeah, sure, chicken. Certainly, that sounds sir. good. There you go. Thank you. Hey, everybody. This perv just bought a latex Vienna sausage, <laughs> California red How can you remember? Ripped, it's so long. Snake skin. Cincinnati fire hose capacity, fungicidal, chicken with smelling fingers again. Lubber. What a pervert! Aw, poor little Larry. He was, he was being uh, Which? looked at and oh, yeah, I, for, I forgot to pay. I'm oh no, oh, that was unfortunate. Let's do that again then. You have to pay for stuff. Please. My aim is improving. Yay for me! <laughs> Larry, you've always said that shoplifters deserve to be put out of their misery. They have? Why did I say that? Does that sound like Larry? Do I have a condom? I have a condom. Okay, so I can just pay. Pay the man! Thank you, come again. Thank you. Now please leave. There is no loitering. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go to the, to the crazy woman. No. Nope. have much more mm. interesting plans for that item. There we go. There we go. Oh. Gonna get to the crazy woman. Gonna get married. I remember, I think they get married. Um, this is my pass to the underworld. The bouncer takes the pass and scrutinizes it as closely as his over. Why can't you just remember me? Like, how many people are really going to the club? Hmm. Two? You're Rabbi Cornswig? Sure. Um, of course. Okay. I like this guy. What is he doing? Welcome to Club Welcome 69. Welcome to Club 69. Thank you. Shalom. You go up here. Up, up, up. Come on, up and about. Right this way. There you go. Go talk to the crazy woman. Don't sit down. How often do you get a chance to go to a place like this? Mingle, mingle. Or let's just talk to her direct directly. That's maybe better because he will automatically sit down then. Thank you. Hello, darling. Okay, so I'll start with this. Oh, Larry, I just love roses. Oh, that's so sweet, honey. Uh, and candies. Oh, Larry, I just love candy. And the magical diamond ring we found in the toilet. Here you go, a toilet ring for you, my lady. Oh, Larry, I just love diamonds. 
Ooh, ooh la la, what's happening? Oh, Larry, I just love your presence. Dance with me, you adorable fool. Ooh, interesting. Now we get some dancing. Oops, did he kill her? That would be so Larry. You're supposed to dance with her, not throw her away and then dance on your own. Oh my god, you're doing this so terribly wrong. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. He's so small. But he's kind of ignoring her and like... Yeah, being all about himself, which is... And the crowd goes wild. Probably not gonna be a good idea. But anyway, let's see what happens. Larry, that was incredible. I've never done that with a man before. It was so... Exhilarating. With whom have you done it then? Are you as turned on as I am? Always. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably not. Oh, <laughs> my answer is yes. Oh God, yes, yes, Larry, I will. You will what? Why, marry you, of course. After all, I could never be with a man who wasn't my husband. Really? Aren't you a hooker or something? Together in the eyes of the entire world, could I really give myself to you? Go get married, little man. Really, heart, soul, and body. Don't smell your fingers. Stop it. I'll also need two hundred dollars to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's Palace. I'll wait for you here. Once you've got the money, we'll rush over to the wedding ready, and at long last, we can be husband and wife. Holy cow, Larry! It looks like your dreams are about to come true. Was he gonna wait for me here or at the wedding chapel? I just I kind of fell asleep because of that long, 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 long speech. What I know is I need two hundred bucks, and I know where to get them. Evening, sir or madam. So I'm going to go. I think she's gonna wait for me at the wedding chapel, isn't she? I'll I'll check there before. Yeah, sorry, I really wasn't listening. I just I just fell asleep. My brain was like, oh my god, it's so long. Apples. Yes, apples. Um, slot machine. Welcome to the come and go. Thank Let you. Let us cater your next trip to across state lines. I go to the slot machines to try to get some money. Yes. Uh, I need to save now because that's the only way I will have patience to do this. Yes. Four. Save. I save. Uh, I will now put this. Ah! Oh, I will now test this. Okay, if I, if I if I like hold it in, then I get all these options. So I just need to clicky 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 clicky. This is gonna be fun. Don't you just love it? Click 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 click. Let's start with hundred. Yeah. In case I lose, that'll be so annoying. I won, but I got like the same amount. So same amount. Need more money. Come on now. This is what we wanted. Oh, now it goes up. Not enough money. I go save. I know I'm above, but I would like to double that. So then I don't need to think about this anymore. Which would be amazing. Looky look. This is what we wanted. Okay. I'm going to go away from this. And go outside. So I'm, I'm fairly certain she's gonna wait for me at the wedding chapel, isn't she? So I, I'm going to the wedding chapel. Taxi! Yeah, I'm like 99% certain that in that mumbo jumbo of words, that word scramble, there was Where wedding chapel. Wedding chapel! Gonna get married, going to the chapel, and I'm gonna get married. Blurs, it's gonna be so happy. The damage is $18, buddy. Pay the guy, or he'll get so mad. And then you have to do it all over again, mister. Thanks, kid. Kid? He's like 40. Come on now. Really? Ah! Oh, I need to work on my listening. My listening skills are like so bad. Did she say maybe say the hotel? Oh! Taxi! Yeah, I should have checked, shouldn't I? I should have. I really should have. You again? Where to this time? I even go to the club. Take get me to a club, Mr. Simbly, when underwater. It'll be 16 bucks, please. Si, senor. I pay you. I give you all my money. Here Thanks, you go. Kid. I'm still sound sounding like an Indian. I'm trying to be Spanish, but that's not working. Uh, he doesn't remember anything, this guy. He's like, huh, who are you? I have never seen you before. Scrutinizes it as closely as his who are you? Little man, you are so small, I can put you under my arm and carry you around. Like that is 
Um, yes, I am. I course. am a rabbi. Okay. I'm very good at being a rabbi. Shalom. Welcome to Club 69. Thank you, Thank you. mister. Shalom. I go upstairs. Right this way. And I have to find a woman. If she's not there, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. There she is. Hello. I should have come right back, but I wasn't listening to you. I'm sorry. I'm too excited to talk, Larry. I want you so badly. That's probably how she'll get you, too. And as soon as you give me $200, I'll yeah. go reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's Palace. Her the then money. I'll meet you at the wedding ready, and you'll finally make me Mrs. Larry Laffer. She's probably going to take half your money, isn't she? She's going to steal your money and never marry you. You give Fawn your wallet. All right. $200. Thank you, my sweet. I'm going to the casino right now to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's. Then I'll meet you at the wedding ready next to the casino. Don't be late, my love. Now we go to the wedding chapel. I press her ass first. You back your wallet, $200 lighter and rushes off. How did she get ballast with those boobs? You're one step closer to connubial bliss. If I had those boobs, I would like tip over. They look so big. So big. Okay, I'm gonna get married. La, 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 Enjoy la, la, your la. evening, sir, or madam. Or madam, really. You can you really can't see the difference. Taxi! This guy is I don't know if he is I think he's a robot or something. What, are you my only customer tonight? Yeah I'm it's poor you. But I'm a happy happy chap, I'm gonna get married. Yay! No no. Mita says 23 bucks. Pay up. Wait, I think I have like 200. Oh, I have my wallets anyway. So, okay. Okay, okay. My wallet. Give Thanks, it to him. Kid. Everybody wants my wallet. Everybody. Okay. Come on now. Let's get married. <gasps> so Fawn magical. is standing at the ready at the end of the room. Next to her is a man dressed like some sort of clergyman. The clergyman. Larry, we're all ready for you. She didn't even you put in a new one dress. To take care of though. It's one hundred dollars for the marriage certificate, the ceremony, and the decorations. The decorations are extra? If you're too cheap to spring for them, I'll just take them down. Larry, no decorations? No, no, leave them up. I'll, I'll take care of it. Of course you will, Larry. After all, how often does a man who isn't Larry King get married? <laughs> I have my wallet. I think I still have it, like right here. So who am I gonna pay? This guy? Take my money. Now we're ready to knock this thing out. Finally. You all settle into basic position. A hush falls over the players at home. Barely beloved. Sorry, let me restart that. She's so tall Barely and he's so small. Jim. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. So they know each other. Yeah, That's yeah. nice. Dearly beloved. Maybe she's done this before. Today to join this man and this it's woman. Me, this woman. Blah, 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 mm. blah. It's so romantic. Lance Laster, take this woman. <laughs> you can't even remember his name. Larry Laffer? I thought you said... Just go. Do you, Larry... Larry Laffer, take even this woman... Even more booze. This is so boring. Blah, blah. Uh. Sickness and hell forsaken and the rest. I... I do. He does? Do you find really? He has spoken to her with for like five minutes. Take this man to be, to be your blah blah blah. Can't she just like take his name? Male? She can be like Fawn Laffer. I, I mean, I do. You've got the ring. I have to have another ring? No, no, no. I've already got the ring. Keep this thing moving. Then by the power invested in me, Jimmy Ted. <laughs> here by the Jimmy Ted. That's my pastor. He's Jimmy Ted. Congratulations. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm headed down to the wine cellar. It's inventory time sure again. Sure it is. <laughs> sure it is, honey. Employees only. I'm sure y'all understand. <laughs> Fawn throws her arms around you and almost kisses you. Oh, Larry. Isn't it romantic? So romantic. What's she talking about? Did something romantic happen here by mistake? I'll meet you at the honeymoon suite, Larry. Ready to give you my all. My all. Everything. Oh la la! So Are we going? We are totally going. Don't keep me waiting. I can't wait to take advantage of you. She's not done with that yet. Well, congratulations, Larry. You're a married man. Time to get Pressing over to your the ass honeymoon still. suite. And Haven't hang learned a anything. Sign on the door. Gone consummating. Okay, let's get the feet. Uh, let's try to outrun her. Ha ha ha! I beat you. And we're going to the. 
the honeymoon suite. Like just past the creepy guy into the honeymoon street. Uh, that was like, was it third floor? Yeah, I think it's so. Third or fourth. I think it was... It was... I don't know. Let's see. Let's check out third floor. Tres! Nope. It was probably fourth. Yeah. Hello. Is that you? Larry? <laughs> she didn't remember Larry. his name. It sure is, baby. Come <laughs> on in. I'm ready for you. What happens now? Ooh, you la walk la. into the honeymoon suite. Your blushing bride is waiting for you. Hello, Larry. You're here at last. Forgive me if I'm a little shy. I've never been with a man who meant so very, very much to me. Excellent! Can I just, like, touch her? Not now, Larry. I need music! Okay. You run your finger over the wall, but no, no dirt I'm not comes touching off. the wall. How nice. It's been dusted for your protection. There we go. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the radio dial. Oh, really? There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the radio dial. Is there only static? There's nothing but static on this station. We'll be back to our commercial-free four-hour Barbara Streisand marathon after this commercial message. I don't understand that. How many times has this happened to you? You've just gotten married, and you forgot to get the perfect bottle of wine for your honeymoon. Uh -oh. Don't ask the hotel to send up their finest bottle of rotten, overpriced garbage. Don't settle for trashy, boxed wine they sell at the convenience store. The taxi driver will probably drink it all, and you'll end up in a fiery crash. Don't let that happen to you. Call Snappy Liquors. We deliver anywhere, anytime, in five minutes or less. How do we do it? That's what I'd like to know. Yeah. Simple. We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. That doesn't answer the question. So call now, 555-8039. That's 555-8039. Liquor quick with Snappy Liquors. And now, back to more Barbara. Fawn turns off the radio. Thank you. <laughs> Go order us some of that wine, Larry. Please? It'll make everything absolutely perfect for our, you know, canoebial joining. That's so romantic. Right away, dearest. What was it? 5058039? Maybe? Well, I'm um, actually, I'm up with my, I'm trying to keep my uh, videos to half an hour. And I'm at that point right here. So, uh, I'm gonna stop. Uh, thank you for listening. Game Damer out.